Um, we've tried to, to keep a lot of the wing ball screens lower and kind of keep guys with size um, at home, help us from a rebounding standpoint. They, they made some shots in there, but um, it's one of those things where, you know, you, you watch tape, sometimes it's exactly what you say or you think, and you go back, sometimes it's a little bit different, and then just try to make improvements from it. I, I know this, it's, it's hard to, uh, I like all of our guys, it's hard to play six big guys in two spots. It just is. And I, 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 I was going to do it anyways to start the game, but I, I, I ruined what we started. You know, we go in a 14-2 run, then I sub. You know, you don't sub at that time. You know, you stay on people and try to build a lead and be able to push the game out. And I allowed them, um, them to stay close by subbing. And then we got into a bad mix and we're only up eight and a half. So, but it, it happens and I, I'd do it again in an exhibition game. What do you like? Well, I thought, um, you know, our big guys, uh, I thought Sonny did a good job of rebounding. Um, just got to get him more comfortable out there making some plays. But in terms of his rebounds per minute, it's always been pretty good. You know, he plays 16 minutes again, and, uh, you know, he gets seven rebounds. I thought A.J. Hammonds did some good things. Um, got to get Jay Simpson in, in, in better shape. He's a talented offensive player. Um, he seems to corkscrew a, a jumper up right as he walks into scrimmages and games. He's got to learn just to, to get in the flow a little bit. And, um, but if he's not in shape, he can't stay out there for long periods of time. Um, you know, Donnie Hale had some bright spots. Then he had some, some other times where, you know, he just didn't complete a play. He didn't really get on the glass like he's been um, doing in practice. Um, I thought Bird uh, has been unbelievable in practice. He's been outstanding, probably shooting about 75%. And uh, just didn't make good decisions today. Didn't didn't get into a rhythm. Uh, but I'm really not worried about him. He, he's been great for us. Then I thought Anthony and uh, Tyrone and, and Ronnie all did some good things for us. And I, I think having those guys in there, at least two of them in there, really helps our quickness and our ability to break down and and uh, and, and make some plays. So you know, overall, we only we only turned it over 11 times, and, and Bird had four of those, which um, is uncharacteristic of him. Um, so you know he'll get that get that worked out. So we did a pretty good job in terms of taking care of the ball, only out rebounding by four, um, like Wash talked about to start with. And they, they made some of those shots. We got to go back and see if they were. I thought they were tough. They're in the second half. They were away from me, uh, but we'll see. You know we'll, we'll try to get some things corrected. I thought we really struggled to um, to screen and just execute what we were trying to run. And you might not see it from just a fan standpoint, uh, but I just thought we did a poor job of screening and laying bodies on people and uh, not doing little things um, on the offensive end. Then our one-on-one -on -one defense, especially in that kind of that four or five spot, I, I thought when they got into kind of open space, I thought those guys really struggled to guard Fitzgerald um, in one-on-one -on -one situations, and uh, we, we have to do a better job of that. But we, like I said earlier, we have to do a better job of just embracing the physicality of the game. I, didn't, I thought we were soft tonight in terms of <coughs> posting up strong, blocking out. Um, I thought when the ball was loose, we hustled and dove after the basketball. But in terms of just being physical, um, I, I thought that was uh, pretty poor. Coach, uh, you had guys rotating in and out and in and yeah. out, and it was hard to get a rhythm or yeah. a sense of what you were doing. But yeah. um, Anthony Johnson got left out there for a while. Right. So why? What was your thought process on that? Well, it's different with the backcourt. You know, we have uh, six guys counting Drew Anthony in the backcourt, so it's it's easier for those guys to get in a rhythm because there's fewer of them, and there's three spots. You know, you talk six guys out there. Jay, I pull in and out because he gets gassed after about two minutes. Um, sometimes I pull guys out just because of you know not producing, or I'm putting the guy back in. So with that, um, it is a little bit different. It's hard to play as a really traditional big. We haven't had a lot of traditional bigs in our place. Um, it's hard to guard those undersized guys. You know that guy was six four, six five, and he he gave us trouble. And in the past, I just would have shifted and put Bird at the four. And I'm, I'm trying to stay traditional and try to win that battle on the glass to offset that. It's kind of a chess match. How do you like to play it? Um, we've already we've always played it small, and then we at times we've taken that abuse, and at times we've really out executed people. Now I think we're on the other end of that. But if we don't dominate the glass, then what's the point? You know, out rebounded by four, I, I don't think it's dominating anybody. So we have to under not we but those bigs have to understand. You know, you're in there, and we we might give up something a little bit in terms of execution, uh, but we got to gain things on offensive rebounding, defensive rebounding. 
And tonight I thought a couple guys did a good job, but I don't think everybody did.